Hey, what's up, it's Nate. It is 5 p.m. on a Tuesday, and I am online on DoorDash and Grubhub. Just had to drop a package off at FedEx. Already went to the post office with other packages, so that's all set. Tuesdays are usually pretty slow, so I'm, I'm not sure what we're gonna see. I've, I've already gotten a couple orders. Here's another one, Noodles & Company, seven miles. Seven dollars, no thanks. I've already gotten a bunch of orders, you know, requests, but they've been a lot of miles. So we'll see how Tuesdays do. Tuesday's usually the worst day for me. I'll let you know what we get. Okay, I picked up a Jersey Giant order. Headed there now. The delivery looks like it's not too far. It's on Grubhub, so I don't know exactly what the mileage is. I am one mile from Jersey Giant. Let me go pick that up and we will be on our way. I picked up the Jersey Giant and I also grabbed Grabbed a Chipotle order, so I'm on my way to grab that. I've got the Chipotle. Okay, I got the Chipotle dropped off. Uh, I've been having trouble for some reason lately. I don't know if it's just me or what, but I just had like no service no cell service on Verizon it's really been frustrating so it was, I had trouble marking that that delivery as complete just kept airing out timing out but I finally got it I had to drive away from the house and finally got it and it's right on uh, college campus so there's good service there normally it's just and now I have full service I don't know what the deal was but anyway I got it delivered heading to deliver this Jersey Giant Got the subs delivered. I picked up an order from an Indian place. I'm heading there 0.9 miles to the restaurant. And then the delivery should put me back into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. All right, I got the Indian food. It smells good. They were messing with me in there because I went in, they said, oh yeah, we're just, oh yeah, we're just packing it up right now. Okay, but can you wait outside? All right, well, it's 90 degrees outside, but I suppose so. 10 minutes later, I go back in to check, and oh yeah, we're packing it up right now. Okay, it was, uh, then they brought it to me, so. The second time they were telling the truth, the first time, I don't know. 2.5 miles to the drop off. Okay, I got that Indian food delivered, no problem. The guy met me outside of his apartment, so that was cool. The Grubhub app said it had an update, so I updated it, and then of course, apparently the password I have saved isn't my current password, so I couldn't log back in, so I had to update the password. I guess it's probably a bad idea to update the app when you're in the middle of a shift, but hey, I like bad ideas sometimes. It worked so far. I mean, it, it only take a, took a minute or two, so. I also paused my DoorDash because it was like going too crazy with small orders now uh, says I can dash now but then I can't we're unable to start your dash at this time due to this time slot is no longer available excellent even though it says busy and says dash now if I was a top dasher this wouldn't be a problem okay I'm gonna I guess we'll stick with Grubhub okay so DoorDash went from very busy to just being grayed out and I can't dash now and they won't even let me schedule anything until 8 30 which is another two and a half hours so I'm not gonna do that I will keep checking because Obviously it updates all the time. It might get busy before then, but for now I'm on Grubhub. I might turn on Uber Eats, but all that does is drain my battery running in the background. All right, I got back on DoorDash. It got very busy all of a sudden. Uh, that's, I mean, DoorDash is marked very busy. So they allowed us non-top dasher, non-elite drivers to uh, dash now. So I did that. Got an Applebee's order. I'm on my way to drop off the Applebee's order. I also moved to the other side of town where I prefer to be, so, uh, and got an Applebee's order pretty quickly. All right.
got the Applebee's dropped off and I picked up an order on Grubhub for ponchos. Heading over to pick that up right now. Now oh, that road is closed, very, very closed. Applebee's pickup is a little annoying because they want you to go inside, which is no problem. I mean, then I don't have to wait for people, except the problem is... The problem is I did have to wait for the people that were already going outside. So we've got a big sign that says, Delivery drivers do not touch the orders. We've had problems with drivers taking the wrong orders, which maybe they do. It's possible. A lot of places just have the orders on a shelf or whatever, and you could grab anyone you wanted, you know. Turn left on Comfort Street. They went as far as to make us show them the app to show our uh, the name that we're picking up for in the app so they can verify it. It's a little interesting. Seems a little much for me, but if they've had problems, they've had problems. We got the ponchos. I'm headed out there. It's about nine mile delivery. I need to get better at reading the Grubhub maps. I don't know what what my deal is, but I think it was like 12.58 for this one. I wouldn't have taken it if I knew it was out here, but this seems to be a theme with Grubhub. And mostly, I think it's a theme with me not knowing how to look at a map correctly. Three miles, we'll be there. I got that ponchos delivered out in the middle of nowhere. I am going to, I'm actually going to swing by home. It is 6.58 right now. I will probably go back out. Um, DoorDash, we'll see if DoorDash is still busy or not, but uh, I just have to swing home for a minute. I'll let you know. All right, I am back. It is uh, 7.40. I went back online at 7.30 p.m., Got an order for Bob Evans. I've already got the food and I am on my way to hand it to the customer. Okay, I took a little longer at home than I wanted to. I think I'm going to call it quits. I did grab a Bob Evans order, delivered that. It was, it was super quick, like a two mile delivery. To drive back to the area where I want to dash or where I normally do, uh, you know, it's 7.50 right now. Sun's starting to go down. I mean, I probably have another hour or so before it starts to get hard to see addresses, but you know, that's my biggest pain in the butt is, or, or my biggest uh, issue is trying to see addresses. I just don't, I don't know. I just don't like it at all. So we're gonna call it quits. Thanks for watching.